For the better part of a year now, members of the House and the Senate have been working diligently and constructively to craft legislation that will be benefit millions of American families and millions of American businesses who urgently need it. For the first time ever, they've passed bills through every single committee responsible for reform. They've brought us closer than we have ever been to passing health insurance reform on behalf of the American people. Now's the time to finish the job. The bill that the House has produced will provide stability and security for Americans who have insurance, quality, affordable options for those who don't, and lower costs for American families and American businesses. And as I've insisted from the beginning, it is a bill that is fully paid for and will actually reduce our long-term federal deficit. Now, no bill can ever contain everything that everybody wants or please every constituency in every district. That's an impossible task. But what is possible? What's in our grasp right now is the chance to prevent a future where every day 14,000 Americans continue to lose their health insurance and every year 18,000 Americans die because they don't have it. A future where crushing costs keep small businesses from succeeding and big businesses from competing in the global economy. A future where countless dreams are deferred or scaled back because of a broken system we could have fixed when we had the chance. 